metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. Five hundred kilometers, turn to the right. Yep, will do. In three hundred kilometers, turn to the yeah, right. Thanks very much, but I heard you the first time. Checkmate, huh? are you sure you know how to play this? In one hundred kilometers, Great flaming carrots, what is your malfunction? Heart. How many times are you gonna say it? You have missed the turn, flawed huh? carbon based being. But there is another turn in three hundred Why kilometers. Why did you say something, you piece of junk? That's a bit of an overreaction, my dramatic friend. Global satellite navigation is an intelligent and super helpful invention. The only thing it's good at is being super <laughs> annoying. Remember, before GPS, we had to use less advanced and less accurate means of navigation. It was crazy. For instance... He should be back by now. I hope there hasn't been an accident. Oh, what if something has gone amiss? Sweet <laughs> sauerkraut! <laughs> base! Come in, base! Condor here! Base! It's Condor! Do you read me? Base right here! Hello? Base! Condor here. The flight test is underway. Do you read me, base? I'm so glad to hear that. I'm currently flying over the desert. There's a bit of a dust storm. My compass is damaged. It's hard for me to tell exactly where I am. Come again? Am I to understand? You're really lost? Well, I wouldn't say I'm not lost. Thank you, my friend. I know you're very brave and ready to help, but the desert is simply too large, and we have no idea at all where Pin is. It'd be like looking for one particular grain of sand on the entire beach. Excellent thinking! What a wonderful idea! That's called inversion method, solving the problem through contrast. Reverse reasoning, or backward chaining, is a way of thinking that turns your problem upside down, working from a goal backwards to the start to find out what to do. It's much easier for Pin to look for us than for us to look for Pin. To put it simply, Pin needs to find the right direction to get out of the desert. Right. Sure, it's tricky with no compass in the middle of the desert, but explorers of the past used to find the right way somehow. Since the horizon is continuous, if you know one direction, like which way north is, you can figure out all of the others based on that one you know. If you get lost and you don't have a compass, the position of the sun can play that role for you. For instance, in the northern hemisphere, the sun rises in the east, arrives in the south around noon, and sets in the west. Hey, look at that! <gasps> ah, yes, nighttime. 
Well, at night we have... Uh, wait... Uh, almost... We have... The Polar Star. Groovy, danke! The North Star, or Polaris, shines above the Earth's true north. It can be found at the end of the Little Dipper's handle. To find it, draw a line from the front two stars of the Big Dipper straight up to the end of the Little Dipper, and there's Polaris, the North Star. Now, if you can't see the sun or the stars, you can also find your way by things around you in nature. Moss or lichen covers stones and trees on their northern sides. Tree bark is harder and darker facing north, and ant hills are usually located north of tree stands. And the southern side of the ant hill will be shallower than the northern one. Alrighty, still lost. Condor, Condor, it's face. I've got grand news for you. If you don't have a compass, you can always find your way by using the stars. Or anthills. I'll explain how. <sighs> nicht for stars, nicht for hills events, nicht for everything, except for the sand. And that there's a lot of. Think, 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 think. There must be a way. Nothing's impossible. Except, of course, for all the things that are impossible, of which this is not one. BB, forget old-fashioned methods. Did you know it's possible to determine where a person is with the help of satellites up in space? Satellite navigation can determine someone's location with amazing accuracy to within a few meters. Small electronic receivers determine latitude, longitude, altitude, and achieve time synchronization. Satellite navigation has three segments. About 24 satellites, give or take a few, form what's known as the space segment. The control segment is an intricate network of antennas at monitors and control stations on the ground. And the user segment is an electronic receiver you hold in your hand or carry in your vehicle. The 24 satellites are about 20,020 kilometers above the Earth. They are divided into six groups, four satellites in each one. Each group of four satellites moves on the same orbit and makes one revolution around the Earth in 12 hours. By dividing all of the satellites into equal parts, there are at least four satellites positioned over each segment of the planet at all times. To determine location, a user's receiver determines the distance to three visible satellites. The distance to one of the satellites is X, so the receiver can be placed in an imaginary green sphere with its center at the point of the satellite location and X radius. The receiver then measures the distance to the second satellite. And here's another sphere. The receiver can then be placed at the point where these two spheres intersect. For clarity, let's make it red. Having calculated the distance to the third satellite, the receiver constructs the third sphere and determines two points of its intersection with the red circle. As you can see, one of the points is in space, so we can discard that. And using this method of triangulation, we can determine exactly where the receiver is. What do you reckon then, my mechanical friend? Will we be able to successfully construct a, um, uh, enough satellites to pull this off? Let's see here. One, two, three. Exactly the number needed for Pin to determine his coordinates. Each 
satellite carries four atomic clocks that work to an accuracy of one second in 20 million years. And every satellite creates its own unique impulse sequence. The user's receiver gets this impulse sequence with a delay that is equal to the time needed for the signal to cover the distance between receiver and satellite. One! So to determine location, the receiver must measure three signal time delays from three different satellites. GPS? I think you're pretty cool after all. So how about it? Friends? You have missed the turn again. <gasps> Unbelievable. There is another turn in three million kilometers. That's it. We're replacing you with an anthill. 